If you sometimes struggle to give eloquent narrative descriptions in your role-playing games, Describe can help. Simply go to Describe.com, type in what you're looking for, locations, monsters, spells, and more, and then either read or paraphrase carefully crafted box text to your group. And with Describe's newly released character illustration feature, Describe's professional artists will create custom artwork of your character. Take your RPG descriptions to the next level at Describe.com and use the discount code the DM Layer to get 10% off. Okay. You've crept up onto the camp, and the rogue scouted ahead. There are six hobgoblins on the walls. You're not sure how many more there might be in the camp beyond the wooden barricades, but you hear two things, gruff laughter and quieter whimpering. So this is where they took all the villagers. Well, now, hold on a second. You're hanging back in the woods with the wizard. You don't know any of this yet. I'd like to sneak in and see if I can find the villagers. What? No, come get me and the wizard. We wanna fight some hobgoblins. You don't know any of this. Actually, I've been advised to abstain from this combat. My familiar will provide an alibi and I can use the other character's fingernails. Abstain, alibi, wait. Fingernails? For what? For resurrections when they inevitably die. The spell clearly states it restores missing body parts. So all I need is a piece of the creatures to- oh, Okay, okay, but they might just get captured by the hobgoblins. What then? Yeah, what then? Wait, you have our fingernails? Can I sneak in or what? Yes, in a minute, but- Objection! Wait, wait. Who's this guy? Has he been there the whole time? T. Barnabas Jones, Esquire. I'll be representing my client here during these proceedings. He's my rules lawyer. Indeed, and I'm the best. I object on behalf of my client not being able to use resurrection after abstaining from a combat that will surely lead to his untimely demise. It is textbook self-defense, Your Honor. Well, they probably weren't going to die in the hobgoblin camp. You know, I mean, the villagers. My client has been railroaded here by these two ruffians. He never wanted to come here. And he was willing to provide resurrection for his fallen comrades and at no additional cost to the party. Okay. Wait a minute. No additional cost? <laughs> resurrection requires a diamond worth at least 1,000 gold pieces. Uh, as you can clearly see on this notarized copy of the party inventory and based on the noble background my client chose at character creation and approved by you, he is hereby entitled to damages for any and all incidental or criminal total loss of relevant assets in the amount of no less than 1,000 gold per party member. Did he just call us assets? I, I just want to fight something. Let's fight injustice. How about that? He's good. Right? <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're trying to rules lawyer me into giving the wizard- My client? Sorry, your client. 2,000 gold pieces, if these two yahoos go and get themselves killed by some hobgoblins that your client is not willing to fight. How is that anywhere in the rules? Your Honor, I could sit here and read passage after passage, have you adjudicate rule after rule from the player's handbook, the dungeon master's guide, or any other book, even- Don't say it. Tasha's cauldron. <laughs> He said it. No, no, no. I said we could do that. However, in this court, logic and reason must hold sway. Go on. Yes. Uh, my client would be willing to settle this matter by having just the rogue taken captive. He escapes with the fighter to the township. Wait a minute, I didn't even roll stealth. How am I the captive? Roll stealth to infiltrate the hobgoblin camp. I rolled a one. Point of order. I believe here under the session zero transcripts, article three, paragraph seven, line 13, you agreed to use critical fail rules on any and all skill checks, including stealth, correct? The truth, please. You can't handle the truth. You're seen instantly at the entrance to the hobgoblin camp and taken hostage. What? That's 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 all I have this week, guys. You know, the rogue's been gone long enough, so I'm gonna head back with the wizard and the rules lawyer back to town and I'll just fight something in the tavern. Oh, oh, we could just clone the rogue. Oh, but it says it takes 120 days. Nah, a couple of persuasion checks and a nat 20. We'll get that reduced in settlement, no problem. Uh, here's my card. Please feel free to give me a summon next session. Rules lawyers. Man, I hope my regular players never find out about 
guys like you. Oh, hello, fat cat. How are you doing today? It's a wonderful day. Ooh, what's this? T. Barnabas Jones rules. La lie. Liar? Lawyer! Rules lawyer. <laughs> Have you been subjected to unfair treatment by your mean dungeon master? If so, you could be entitled to a huge magic item settlement. Click the screen now to get T. Barnabas Jones, rules lawyer, working for you.